Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I was looking through one of my old memory cards the other day and I was shook when I saw what my skin looked like. I don't know if you guys watch my Vlogmas videos, but I talked a little bit about how my skin has been flourishing lately and it really did not hit me until I saw those old video clips. This is what my skin looked like last year around this time. It is absolutely insane to see how far my skin has come and I have been using affordable products that you can find at your local Walgreens, your Walmarts, whatever the case may be. So if you're interested in what I use and what I'm currently using to get my skin looking nice and beautiful, even though it's not perfect yet, just keep on watching. So my secret y'all is Burt's Bees. Now I'm sure you guys have heard of it, I honestly used to think that Burt's Bees was like crazy expensive, but I will say that this routine is super affordable because these products last forever. It's like I can go over a month using the same products and for that reason, I feel like it's affordable and it gets the job done. So in the morning, I go ahead and wash my face with the Burt's Bees Facial Cleanser. This is from the Sensitive Lime. It's 98.9% .9 natural. One thing that I learned about my skin through all of the trial and error, because there has been so much trial and error over the years of me just trying so many different products, I've learned that my skin does not like cleansers that has salicylic acid. I think that's what it's called, salicylic acid. It is just too strong for my skin. It makes me break out, it makes my skin irritated, and it just does not help me get rid of acne, it actually causes me to get more acne. So when I'm using the cleanser, I literally just wet my face, put the cleanser on, rub it in, and when I feel like it's getting a little bit dry, I wet my hands and rub it in a little bit more. As you guys can see, this cleanser is not one that gets soapy or bubbly or anything like that. And really, when I first started using it, that was kind of a turn off for me because I'm like, how the heck is this thing really doing anything for my skin if I don't even see no bubbles? but I've learned to love it only because I've seen the results. So once I'm done actually washing my face, I stop using towels on my face and to dry my face, I use paper towels, they're disposable. Every time I dry my face, I'm using a new one and I just feel like towels was holding too much bacteria for my face. So I no longer use towels on my face, I strictly use Paper towels, once my skin is dry, I go in with the Burt's Bees Clarifying Toner. This one is from the Natural Acne Solutions line and this actually does have salicylic acid in it, but this is 99.5% natural. So usually after I'm done washing my face, I feel like there's still a little bit of dirt and just more stuff from the day there that needs to be taken off. So I do go in with a cotton pad and just run the toner over my face. And as you guys can see, it does pick up a little bit more of that extra dirt. And now since this is my morning routine, I need to prep my skin for going outside. So the moisturizer that I have been using and loving is actually not from Burt's Bees. This one is from Aveeno. It's a part of the Positively Radiant line. This is the daily moisturizer and it has sunblock in it. Now, if you're like me, your skin just scars for no freaking reason. Or maybe there is a reason and you know, you pick at your acne and that's cool too because I do the same thing. But when I have dark spots, I know going into the sun is just gonna make my dark spots darker, which I don't want. So you definitely wanna make sure that you're using some sort of sunscreen to block your skin from getting more damaged by the sun. This is the only moisturizer that I have used that literally soaks into my skin. I have this thing with moisturizers where I feel like they kind of just sit on my skin and I hate that feeling. It just drives me insane. So this is literally the only moisturizer that I've ever used that soaks into my skin. It doesn't irritate my skin. It doesn't make my skin feel dry. It doesn't leave me oily because that was another issue I was having. This is just like the perfect moisturizer. That's pretty much it for my morning skincare routine. I wash my face, tone my face, put on a moisturizer, bam, I'm out the door. Now when it comes to my nighttime routine, it's honestly pretty much just that simple as well. But I do do some things a little bit differently depending on how my skin is acting that day. So of course, I still go in and cleanse my skin with the same facial cleanser that I use in the morning. This time, I'm usually in the shower, so I put it on my face 
and just leave it on there as I shower so that the steam is kind of opening up my pores and the cleanser is really getting in there. And then when I'm done with my shower, I go ahead and rinse my face off. Again, I dry my skin with the paper towel. And again, I use my toner. Most of the time, I honestly don't do anything else but lately I have been feeling like my skin needs a little bit more moisture. So I've been using the Palmer's Coconut Oil, Coconut Manoy Luminous Hydration Facial Oil and putting it on my entire face is a lot for me. So I tend to just put it on the areas where I feel like my skin can use some additional moisture which is usually around my mouth because my chin area gets really dry and I'm noticing that I'm starting to get smile lines and I just feel like the more I keep this part of my face moisturize the more it'll prevent any wrinkling or anything like that now if i do see that i am developing some sort of pimple most of the time i have already picked at such pimple which will result in a dark spot sort of like what you guys are seeing on my cheek right here but what i try to do is go in with this little burt speeds detoxifying clay mask it is a rinse off mask you're supposed to rinse it off within 10 to 15 minutes i usually just put a dot of it right on the pimple and leave it on overnight within two days the pimple is like non-existent anymore. I am telling you guys, I do not believe that products work overnight. Like I feel like you have to be realistic when it comes to your skincare, especially if you're not using some overly medicated like dermatologist prescribed products to clear your acne. So I've definitely learned to be more patient and just realistic with my skincare and my skin progress. This Thing, this does a better job of drying out any pimples than I'm like than any product that I've ever used. Trust me, girl. If something take a year and a half to work, I'm gonna tell you it take a year and a half. This does not. And from there, my nighttime routine is done. I literally wake up in the morning and repeat the same process over again. My number one tip would definitely be to try something and don't expect it to work overnight. Like you need to give things time to work. So I would say around maybe my third month of using the products is when I really started to notice a drastic change in what was happening in my skin. If you are a person that has tried multiple things, try to think about what has worked and what hasn't. And that way you can drill down more into why something isn't working. So like for me, after trying all these things, I finally came to the realization that okay my skin doesn't like overly medicated cleansers that was a big deal like i had been using medicated cleansers with every single product that i tried so had i realized that earlier i probably would have been able to get my skin acne right a lot sooner than you know i did now and last but not least i would say to just do what works best for you like these products work for me and of course i wanted to share it just in case it works for anyone else out there but there's still a chance that it probably won't work for you and that's okay too like all of our skin is not the same even for me sometimes I feel like my skin you know it's acting right I'll probably skip washing my face in the morning or I won't apply toner two times a day just because I feel like it's a lot for my skin so you guys have to like really understand your skin and listen to it if it's dry you're gonna feel it if it's overly moisturized you're gonna see the excess oil on your face like listen to your skin and like do what your skin is telling you to do which that sounds weird because obviously nobody's skin is like girl i'm thirsty moisturize me but in the way your skin feels like obviously you know it better than anyone else you can kind of get a feel for like what your skin needs and at what time your skin needs it if you guys are interested in purchasing any of these products i literally get every single thing from walgreens except for this palmer's coconut oil they actually sent this one to me and I just so happened to love it. I haven't had to rebuy it again and like this thing is still super full because like I said, I don't use a lot of it. But I'll try to find it online and I'll put a link for every single thing that I mentioned in this video in the description bar so you guys can check it out. If you guys have used these products and you absolutely love them, let us know in the comments or if you hate them, let us know that too. If there's anything else that you're using that you think is helpful, let's also talk about that because you never know who you could be helping. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this video was helpful and since you're here, you might as well subscribe, check out another video. 